Hey everybody, this is Esteban. Uh, I'm up at the University of California, Berkeley right now, and I'm studying neuroscience. Well, one thing that we're trying to do is to try to get a robotic arm to move according to your brain waves. But the first step to that is to try to get it to move according to a computer. I guess you guys have seen programs like, uh, not programs, hardware things like um, BrainGate, which is awesome, which allows somebody who's paralyzed to move a mouse on a computer. Well, with this, if you move a mouse, hopefully it will move the robot correspondingly. I'm sure you can understand how cool that would be for someone who is paralyzed. They could, uh, they could do stuff with that and gain more independence and all. Anyway, so what I'm going to try to show you today is uh, this robot moving with the touch screen. So here we have our robot and here's the pen that it's holding which is a UCLA pen because that's where I'm going to school. And uh, it's hooked up to this laptop and this laptop is hooked up to this external touch screen here which I'm going to try to use to control the robot. So in order to do this, we're going to have to open up a program called MATLAB. And uh, this program's awesome. It's basically got its own language, which you can program uh, mathematical things in. And so here we're going to type in the name of the program that I wrote, which is called Follow and it uses uh, programs other people wrote uh, to make the robot arm move. So we're going to type in follow right here and uh, type in a zero because we want that ser servo and we're going to type in 1000 because that's how fast we want our robot's arm to move. Okay, so hopefully when we go up here and we press enter this robot is going to move according to where I have my finger on the touch screen. So I'm going to turn on this robot. You can see it's on now. And I'm going to hit enter and we'll see what happens. Anything? There we go. You can see the robot is starting to move. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move my finger kind of around and hopefully this robot is going to follow and do what I do on the touch screen. Okay? You can see it's kind of working. But to make things a little more interesting, I've prepared a panoramic uh, picture here. A panoramic picture of the desktop where I'm working. Okay, so here you can see this desktop basically from the view of the robot. So if you go over here, you can see that this is pretty much what the robot would be seeing if the robot had eyes, like that. Okay, there's a laptop and the monitor over there, which should be off. Oh well. And uh, my motorcycle helmet over there. Okay. So now I'm going to try to get the robot to point to where I'm pointing. So let's see if we can get to go to the mouse. And you can see it kind of did that. we got to adjust this pin a little bit. Okay, let's see if we can get the robot to point at my motorcycle helmet. And you can see it moved over there to where my helmet is. Let's see what else we can do. Maybe point up here somewhere. And it's kind of pointing up there, right, towards the monitor. Yeah. How about let's try to get it to move to point at this keyboard. There. See, it's pointing at the keyboard. So that's cool. And uh maybe one more. Let's try to see if we can get it to point at the laptop. And there it goes. It's pointed at the laptop. So this is uh really fun to do. And it's pretty simple too. You just need a robot like this and a MATLAB, and you can do it.
so this is what I've been working on pretty much for the summer, and it's it's been a lot of fun. All right, well, thanks for watching.